We are here at the Mel Fisher Museum and we're hoping they're open. They should be open. Looks like it. Looks like we might have it to ourselves. Let's find out. Yeah. So this is a museum dedicated to Mel Fisher who found the Atosha, which is a Spanish treasure galleon. Sank in 1622. And he found it in 1985. So, lots of really neat stuff in this museum. exhibit in Key West about GPR and you see one of your grad school professors on a panel. Hi Larry. So we are back on Duval Street. It's getting a little busier through here. We enjoyed our time at the Mel Fisher Museum. Mel Fisher Museum is always one of my favorite places to visit while I'm here so glad we got to go. We might be in Key West when So Mike is stopping here, getting some Cuban coffee. My babe loves his coffee. So in case you're wondering what a Cuban coffee looks like, there it is. It smells like awesome. With sugar. I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> smells awesome though. Just what you need. The nice pick me up before going to the lighthouse. Yeah. Excellent. So here we are at the corner of the Ernest Hemingway house. So these are the walls and I'll get you a glimpse of it when we're over by it, but we're gonna skip this one today. Although I will miss his cats. If you haven't heard, they still have some of the descendants from Hemingway's cats here and they all have extra toes. So I do like visiting them and seeing all the extra toes, but we're just gonna glance today. Here's your little preview, the free version. So we just came into the Lighthouse Museum first because as you can probably see from my face, we are pouring sweat from that little bit of a walk in the sun to get here. So we're gonna soak up some AC, check out the museum, and then we'll make the climb to the top of the lighthouse. <sighs> Benches and an educational video. Just what my feet wanted right now. Thank you. Oh, I didn't get it in time. There's two iguanas that just climbed that tree. Whole bunch of chickens too. Is that an incredibly massive <gasps> one up there? Oh my gosh, yes it is. <laughs> I don't know if I can even get him in the camera. Like he's the size of a dog. That is, he's huge. That's probably the largest iguana I've ever seen. I don't know. Oh yeah, you can see him. There he is. Look at him. Right there. He's huge. The two smaller ones climbed the tree. That was scared. Yeah, unintentionally. Yeah, he's a big one. He's pro big. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. 88 steps to the top. 88 steps. 88 steps. <laughs> there is a couple little spots. Okay, nice. Not too bad. There we go. I'm out of breath, but we made it. Here we go, okay. 
and he wants to go counterclockwise or clockwise. I can't read. Here we go. The view is definitely worth the hike. Look at that. Hemingway House from above. I mean, this is beautiful. Hemingway House right there below me. But wait till you see what's over here. I'm gonna go this direction. Oh, can you see that water? Look at that. Just absolutely gorgeous. So 88 steps, really not that bad. First bit of it is a little scary if you have any fear of heights. The last bit of it, much easier. Just the first spiral is very spirally, but totally worth the walk. It's $12 for adults to get into here. You have the museum and the lighthouse. It's gorgeous. And the breeze right here feels amazing. Whew. Yes, yes, yes. This is 100% worth the $12, in my opinion. It's just really cool to see it from up above. My grandmother owned a bar. She bar. And I love the Key West houses. They're so cute. I want to go. Look we should that. go up there one day because uh, most of those places. Even if we're the people next to us are talking yeah, really yeah, loudly and not actually right. sharing the space politely, but I love, I love this. It's totally worth the money. Very much enjoyed it. A plus, cool. All right. Goodbye, lighthouse. On to more things. We're heading over to DJ's Clam Shack. Or we're not going to DJ's Clam Shack as it may be. I guess we're going for plan B somewhere. So there is mile zero, the start of US one. So you can go take your picture with it. However, it is really hot. So we're just viewing it from over here. Watching other people take their picture with it. Hi, mile zero. We came to see you and dab with it apparently and of course there's a gift shop right near mile zero so, mm, they do have all of the key lime stuff here Ooh, a key lime like a chocolate orange but it's key lime these are delicious we get these frequently Ooh, seasonings qs seafood rub Mmm, all very tempting. Yeah, Ooh, they've got the key lime mango cilantro mustard. Ooh, bath bomb. Mm -hmm. Key lime mustard sauce. We can just mm -hmm. take a vat of that home with us. Might not be a bad idea. <laughs> Might not be a terrible idea. I pr it's probably not as good as the yeah, Key West Conk Factory. Ooh, ooh, yes, yes, that would be delicious. Good call. Key lime honey. Yeah, key lime tea. I mean, we could. We could pack it in our suitcase. All right. I'm fine with that. Ooh. Those do sound tempting. Mm -hmm. Everything sounds tempting right now. We were supposed to have DJs, now we're hungry. <laughs> Let's just take a look at these cookies for a moment. We're at Matheson's. Look at that cookie. Oh my goodness. We're going in. We're going in. Oh, look at the fudge. Oh man. He got the key lime sorbet. There he goes with it. Thank you. We're on our way to get key lime pie, but had to stop for some sorbet on the way. I don't blame you. It's hot. Let me see that deliciousness. Mm. All right, good choice. So we came into peppers. Here's all hot sauces. And they have hot sauce samples that you can try. Mm. So we are finishing our day in Key West. 
with a visit to Kermit. Oh, and we are sweaty. <laughs> we are going to Kermit for key lime pie. This is heaven on a stick. The absolute best. So pretty. It's even prettier to our eyes than you can get on the camera. You just can't even imagine how gorgeous it is right now. 